Hi folks, welcome to England. Hi there folks, it's the 5th of August and finally I'm out of self-isolation. It's been a rather boring 5 days, but thanks to the tests to release, now I'm finally able to go out. This, what you're seeing right now is Sheffield and its glory. So, why exactly did I choose Sheffield over all the other uh, great British cities? Well, it was uh, more or less a lesson I learned from my previous attempt. Because, you see, previously I went to Liverpool, which is pretty much a tourist destination, you know, it's one of those cities that live on tourism, you know, lots of restaurants and uh, hotels and resorts and things like that. I don't really have much experience working in that environment. I do, however, have experience working in factories, in warehouses and, you know, places like that where I have to use my hands to work. So I was looking for a place that has lots of opportunities like that. Sheffield seemed like a place where, where there is a lot of, a whole lot of industry. They're making stuff here. They have warehouse depots here. And on top of that, they also have the usual things that you'd find in a big city, like stores and malls and some tourist destinations as well so it has so it has a bit of everything which is good the second reason why I chose Sheffield is because it's situated very well it's close to other major cities like Doncaster and uh, Leeds and even Manchester so I figured if, if for some reason I can't find a job in Sheffield, I'll be able to just take a train to Doncaster or uh, Leeds or you know some other big, bigger city where Industries is a big player. And by the way, I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing these towns well, like I'm pretty sure it's not pronounced Doncaster. That's just how I pronounce them, so sorry about that. So for the self-isolation, I stayed at uh, at an accommodation in in Park Hill Flats, which is usually a student accommodation. But since universities are out for the summer now, they are renting these rooms out for regular people. I took a room for 10 days here and it's been 6 days now and I can finally go out and explore the city. So what's it like to fly to England during the Covid and Brexit situations? Well, it's, it's not a lot different than it was before. I had to wait at the border a bit longer than I did last year and I had to show some documents that I didn't have to last year and it was a bit more expensive because I had to take a COVID test before arriving and of course I had to take three tests while here but other than these it was pretty seamless so what's next? 
well. Now I can cross another point out from my doing plan or action plan. I am actually in England. Now I just have to find a job, then a place to live, and I'm good to go. Thanks for watching this little update. I'll check back soon. Bye for now.